In this lesson, we're talking about the power of music editing. So unless you're editing your music, you really don't have complete power and control over that edit because you're always at the mercy of whatever song it is, how long the song originally is. And when you start editing, you're able to start and stop that music at almost any moment that you want to. And one of the most powerful things in doing that is something called a ring out, which is this track right here. Uh, let's listen to it, the solo, just that, and see what this sounds like. So as you can see, this would be very useful if you just wanted to end the song right there. Normally, if you just made a cut there, right? Let's select this, take this off. It just made a cut. That's the way it sounds. And that really doesn't work for stopping the music. It's too abrupt. Here's the original piece of music again. Right, so right before that scream. See, this is actually, a lot of people don't like it when it shows you the audio bytes, but this is one of the reasons I love it because I can just, right there is where I hear it. I'm gonna stop it. Let's go back one. Uh, I'm gonna cut there and then delete that. So that's what I want, right there. And I'm just gonna duplicate this clip and I'm gonna stretch it out to give myself some more space. And then I'm gonna put the volume all the way down because what we're really looking for, we just need basically like a transparent piece of video, but audio. So, because we need to be able to write on top of something. So then I would take these and I would nest them together. And then once I nest them together, I end up with this track right here. And then I'm gonna add some studio reverb to it. And once you add that studio reverb, that's what gives it the ring out effect. Of course, we can go in here, let's edit. What I do is I always go directly to Great Hall. That's kind of my default. And then the room size, I amp up the decay and early reflections. So we can even bring that up a little more here. Right, and if we wanna take the decay and put it a little bit higher. So it's gonna ring even longer. You can also play with wet and dry. That's super helpful as well. So, but let's put the, I like the decay where it was. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And I'm gonna save again. Not that I really need to, but you know, if you work with Premiere, you understand. So anyway, I hope that helps with, with music editing. There's some more things that we can go into. Hope you guys learned something with Wham. Ah, damn.